All right, what's going on everyone? Hope everyone's having a good day. And today I wanted to bring a quick video about custom resolutions specifically for H1Z1 and also specifically for anybody that streams and games from the same PC. I know a lot of folks stream uh, from one PC and then they have another PC they game from. Um, I just happen to upgrade a bunch of shit and now I can stream and game uh, on the same PC. So I've run into some issues with custom resolutions as it relates to my desktop and having things function properly. Uh, so I just wanted to address this in case anybody else was having this issue. Uh, it's basically like a freezing issue uh, while playing the game. So uh, anyway, to get to the custom resolutions, uh, what you're going to want to do first, at least for H1Z1, and I think it's the same for Counter-Strike and all that other stuff, but I'm just specifically talking about H1Z1, is you're going to open up your Steam, go to Libraries, go to your game, right-click Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and then you're going to get this window here user options uh, you'll see the full screen width I've already changed it my native resolution for my gaming monitor is 1920 by 1080 I for this uh, example want to use 1600 by 1080 so you just type in 1600 by 1080 or whatever your custom resolution whatever you want to use it's 1600 by 1024 or 1600 by 900 whatever so I'm gonna go with 1600 by 1080 I'm gonna go file save and then I can exit out of all these windows. Okay, so H1Z1, that, the game is taken care of. Now we got to get the desktop taken care of, the, or the PC resolution taken care of. And again, this is for NVIDIA, so I'm going to go open up the NVIDIA control panel. I'm going to go to custom resolution. Make sure that my my, my uh, gaming monitor is selected. You can see that my native is 1920 by 1080, but we're going to customize that. So we're going to go here, create custom resolution. I'm going to type in 1600 by 1080, the same as what I changed it uh, uh, in for H1Z1. Again, this could be whatever you change it to, 1600 by 900, whatever. Okay, so once it comes back, uh, 1600 by 1080, that's what I want. Perfect. Now here, you can still see that I'm 1920 by 1080. I'm going to make sure that I click this and hit apply. Once I do that, now you can see that there's black bars on the left and the right of the screen. I'm obviously going to hit yes again. Okay. So uh, I got the game to 1600 by 1080. Now I got my PC or my uh, my gaming monitor to 1600 by 1080. Now this is a mistake that I made that some other folks might make as well. Okay, so that's NVIDIA control panel. Now what I've done was I'm like, okay, I don't want to see these black bars whenever I pull up the desktop. So if I exit the game or I alt tab out and I have something on this particular monitor that I need to get to, um, I don't want it to have these bars on the side so I'm like alright perfect let's just go to display settings because I've seen this before go to display settings make sure I select my monitor that uh, the gaming monitor hit advanced and then I, as you can see here the resolution is 1600 by 1080 like I've changed for H1Z1 and like I've changed for the Nvidia control panel well, I'm like alright well let's just bump that baby up to 1920 by 1080 problem with that is, is again if you're streaming and gaming on one PC you might notice, unless your rig is like fucking amazing, you might notice that as you're gaming, or once you make this change, I'm not going to do it, but once you make this change to 1920 by 1080 and everything else is your custom resolution, you're going to get a little bit of lag or you're going to get this like um, this stuttering uh, with your PC on this, at least on my other monitors. Um, now, when I'm streaming, if I watch my stream, it's fine. But as, you know, if I have to alt-tab out of H1Z1 and I want to stop music or start music, you know, my mouse is skipping all over the place and, and OBS, like the preview window is skipping all over the place. It looks like I'm lagging really bad, but again, my stream is okay. So, you know, if, if you can deal with that, then then okay. But I it's it's just a pain in the ass for me to deal with because it's delayed when I click something. i got to wait for a window to pop up just because shit just isn't meshing right, right? So... What I've come to know, or what I've come to find out, is I just need to leave this at 1600 by 1080 or whatever the custom resolution is, and deal with the black bars on the side. I'm okay with that, because if I don't, or if I change this desk, this desktop to the native resolution to 1920 by 1080, then I'm going to have that issue with the lag or whatever on the other monitors. And you know, if you're gaming and streaming from the same PC, you're going to have a fuck ton of shit open. You know, you're going to have browsers, you're going to have OBS, obviously, you're going to have Spotify, maybe, or any type of music playing, Twitch alerts, maybe Discord or something like that. So you're going to have a ton of shit open, um, and you don't want you know your your other monitors potentially to be lagging and all that shit. Um, so again, that's just an issue that I have specifically with streaming and gaming from one PC. If you have two PCs set up, you're probably not going to have that issue. So you're okay. 
anyway, so I just wanted to kind of brief you guys on this, and and also actually let's let's hop into a game really fast of H one Z one because you might be like, well, there's black bars on the side. What the fuck? Well. Let's just hop into a game and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're here at the main menu and you'll notice, oh my god, there's black bars on the top and bottom. Don't freak out. Again, I'm just going to jump into a little training game just to show you uh, that, that there's not black bars. It, it will be uh, full screen once you get into the game, so let's enter that. Okay, so I'm dropping in. Again, this is just training just to show you guys, but you can see that I am fully full screened and it's the same on my monitor in real life. So even though it's 1920 by 1080, it is like that's the native resolution my custom resolution is filling the entire screen so there's no issues with black bars on the sides or whatever so uh, just wanted to show you guys that um, I don't even know where I'm at but anyway um, you can see that it's full screen no big deal and this is for any custom resolution I've tried 1600 by 900 and I've tried uh, 1600 by 1024 uh, if you have some 4k monitor I don't know how that's gonna work I don't have any experience with that so I can't touch on it but at least with some of the basic resolutions or some of the basic custom resolutions that you see some of the big time streamers and gamers that, that play H1Z1 that you see them using, um, you know, they, they seem to work fine for me. So hopefully this video helped you out if you had any questions or concerns or uh, any issues that uh, maybe, ans maybe were answered, then, then great. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, be sure to comment below. I, uh, I answer pretty much everybody or anybody that comments. So. Uh, I have no problem doing that. I only have like 87 subscribers, so there's no reason for me to not comment. So if you have any questions specifically to this, uh, let me know. If you guys do like the video, please like, subscribe, comment, do all that cool shit, and I'll see you guys in the next video.